In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called inverse functions, rational. We're given the one-to-one -one function here, f of x, and we're asked to find the inverse of f of x, as well as to state the domain and range of that inverse function. So to start, I'll recall that our function f of x is the output or y value and so our function f of x I'm writing as y equals and from here to find the inverse function I will switch the x's and y's so this will be x equals 3y over 5y minus 2 and then solve for this new y and to solve here for y I would want to first get rid of the fraction by multiplying both sides by the denominator 5y minus 2 on the right hand side that will cancel on the left hand side I can distribute the x to be 5xy minus 2 times x equals on the right hand side we have just the 3y left so we're one step closer to solving this for y I would next want to get the y's on the same side of the equation so I'm going to subtract 3y from the left and right this cancels on the right leaving me with 0 on the left I now have 5xy minus 3y minus 2x so we've gotten our y's on the same side of the equation now we need to isolate those y's and I can do so by adding the 2x to both sides this will then cancel on the left leaving me 5xy minus 3y equals 2x and now to solve for y I can see that I can factor out a common y on the left hand side factoring out a y I would be left with 5x in the first term and a minus 3 in the second term again once I factor out the y equals 2x on the right hand side lastly here to solve for y I just need to divide the 5x minus 3 on both sides to get the y by itself the left hand side cancels so y equals 2x over 5x minus 3 this is our inverse function that we found by switching the x's and y's and solving for y so we've answered the first question we found the inverse function next we're asked for the domain and to find the domain of our inverse function here we can see that we're limited by the fact that the denominator cannot be equal to zero so we would just want to find out where the denominator does equal zero our inverse function has a denominator of 5x minus 3 if I set that equal to zero I could add the 3 over to solve for x and then divide by 5 and I see that when x equals 3 fifths the denominator will be zero so I want to exclude 3 fifths from the domain so this would be negative infinity to 3 fifths not including 3 fifths union with 3 fifths to a positive infinity so for our domain here we have eliminated 3 fifths we're also asked for the range of our inverse function and from here we should recall that the range of the inverse function will be the domain of the original function and in this original function we have to exclude when 5x minus 2 equals 0 here solving we have 5x equals 2 so x equals 2 fifths we have to exclude that from the domain of the original function which means it will be excluded from the range of the inverse function so just like before I'm excluding but this time I'm excluding two-fifths so negative infinity to two-fifths union with two-fifths to positive infinity so we have found the inverse function we found the domain of the inverse function by excluding where that denominator would be zero and we found the range of the inverse function by finding the domain of the original function. 